America. Morning, praise the Lord. Derek Lynn, we're praying for America and time spent with the word. What a joy it is to wake up in the morning by the grace of God Almighty and pray for the nation, pray for the leaders of the nation because the Lord has called us to pray for those in authority. And that is what we, the church, we must do and continue to do. Holy Spirit, I ask that your presence will become tangible right now in this place as we come praying for America. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray your will be done here and now in this country and that you get all the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. John 14, verse number one. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. Trust in God and trust also in me. But Lord, I want my favorite person to win the election. He says, trust in God and trust also in me. But God, can't you see? Trust in God and trust also in me. Oh, but God, look what this one has done. Look what this one is doing. Trust in God and trust also in me. My God, it will behoose us to come to that place of trusting the Lord. Mm. Trust him with our finances. Trust him with our health. Come on, somebody. Trust him with our leaders. Trust him with the country. Trust him with the election and all elections upcoming. The Senate, the House. Come on, somebody. The local elections, governor, mayors, assemblymen, women. Trust the Lord. Trust God. Amen. Judges, trust the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray this morning for the United States of America. I ask you, Father God, whom have you selected? Whom will you allow, my God, to win the 2024 election in this country? Father God, we trust you. Mm. And know, God, that you would do that which is right in your sight for such a time as this. The leader that you have appointed, that you have chosen, that you know for such a time as this will carry out your will, your plans, your desire in these end times, Father God. I pray this prayer this morning for this country that whomever you have chosen, whomever you will allow, Father God, to win the 2024 election in America. I pray God your will be done and give us the grace that we need to trust you, Father. Father, in Jesus' name, that we, oh God, will see your hand moving and working and renewing and strategizing in this country, that the plans of Satan will be destroyed and the plans of God will come to fruition here in the United States of America and in the 2024 election. Holy Spirit, if I pray any prayer this morning, I pray that you will have your way. Father God, have your way. Lord Jesus, have your way. Let your name be lifted high. Let your name be glorified because we have a choice to make. And at the end of the day, Father God, it is you who have the final say. Mm -mm. Even as we go, God, to the voting booths to vote, Father God, we cast our ballots, we cast our votes. Father God, may we pray that as we are casting our ballots, God, and casting our votes, we will pray, God, that your will be done as we put it through the scanner. We say to God be the glory because his perfect will will be done. Father, give the church the grace that we need to pray this prayer over this country because we want what you desire for America and not what the enemy desire for this country. This I pray this morning for the United States of America in Jesus name. Amen. And I pray that the Lord will give us the strength that we need, that we continue to stand, that we continue, my God, to hold our head high, that we continue to pray and seek his face because at the end of the day, we want what the Lord desires for this country. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you. 
and may be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God and stand from having done it to stand. Continue to stand and don't let nothing or no one, I don't care the devil in hell who it is, to ruin your day today. Because if they cannot create a day, they should not be given the opportunity to ruin your day. Well, until the next time. Shalom.